Man, I thought when I hit level 25, things were gonna be way different. But I can't even afford BOEs. I can't even afford my rooms. It's just making me wanna quit Season of Discovery for good. I mean, it's just, it's just so frustrating, man. I don't know if I should re-roll or just, just stop playing, man. Dude, Season of Discovery's been like the easiest thing ever, bro. I mean, I've already got like 400 gold. I ran out of things to buy and just like started like throwing it out, bro. I mean, yesterday, dude, I was on stream on Asmongold stream, like, cause I like went over there to like be on stream. And like, he pointed at me, dude, like legit, he pointed at me and said, that dude's a gamer, dude. Like he did that. Come on now, guys, settle down, okay? So just, just sell it down, okay? I'm telling you, gold making isn't easy and it's not hard in this mode. It's different, it's new. We've got to come up with new and ingenious methods to make a ton of gold in Season of Discovery. Luckily, I've got you covered. Three very different methods that are gonna make you tons of gold, whether you're a terrible farmer like a priest or a god-tier farmer like a feral druid. Lots to cover, let's get right to it. I don't know, man, that intro was pretty fancy and awesome, but like, I'm not even able to get the minefield room. How am I gonna be led into a raid if all my DPS is wanding, dude? I do like five DPS. Dude, it's only been like four days and I've got all 12 runes, bro. Like, I'm telling you, dude, there's even a secret bonus rune. If you have like so much gold, they just like straight up mail it to you. And guess what, dude? They also mailed me an invitation to Henry Cavill's birthday party. Cause like, I had so many runes, he knew I was a real gamer and I wasn't there to like try to steal his cloud or something. Guys, come on, settle, settle down, okay? I've got a solution, okay? It doesn't involve getting depressed or going to Henry Cavill's birthday party. It's called questing. TLDR, questing gives you bonus gold based on the amount of XP you would have gotten from turning in the quest when you're max level. What that means is simple. When you are within five levels, you get a, a bonus that is the maximum amount. More than five levels away, you get less gold. So it's 80% if you're six levels away. So don't go back to the early zones. Do sort of the mid to high level zones. Man, I don't know if you DPS players are just completely out of touch with how healers play, but I went back to go quest and it took me like 20 minutes to kill a level 22 mob. I went back to the Fenris castle to get a rune yesterday. I died like 45 times. I'm not going back to quest you. Plus, I wanna go back and pre-quest for the level 40 bracket. I'm going for that world first level 40 priest, baby. Bro, I don't know if I just deserve it or what, but I got a bunch of BOEs in all the dungeons. I mean, everybody just like was trying to take them for their classes, but I just needed on them and I got everything and I'm super rich now. Guys, come on now. You don't have to be a god tier farming class and you don't have to get lucky either to make gold in this game, okay? Just do what I did. You take a bunch of level one ults. You run them around Azeroth. They're gonna die a lot, but that's fine. We're getting them to the different vendors in the game that sell things people want. That would be the mana pots, the herbs, the health potions. I'm camping things like the Stone Talon Mountains vendor, the Booty Bay vendor for mana pots, the Thousand Needle vendor, the Dustwallow Marsh, there's ones in Barrens. There's ones all across the game. Check Wowhead for specifics. I don't want to leak everything. But you camp these, you check every 30 minutes, three to five gold an hour. Super good if you're at work, very AFK. Man, you people with your, your auction house and vendor secrets. I mean, how are you supposed to make money on the vendor and the auction house if you can't even afford to get on the boat to Booty Bay? I mean, they literally threw me off the boat, dude. I mean, that can't be good. Bro, is this like your first time playing WoW? Just go out there and kill some monsters for like an hour and just make a bunch of money, bro. I hate to say it, guys, but Muscle Guy's kind of right about this one. The Dark Iron Ordnance Farm in the Wetlands is insane. It's seven to 10 gold per hour. I've done it for about 12 hours myself and I have about 70 gold so far. And the way it works is basically like echo farming. Every single person in the raid group will get one of these items when they drop. And they're about 20 silver each on the auction house. They're used from a new quest in Ratchet. This is given to you by Grisby. He gives you three quests. If you complete them, you get a class rune. These are the good class runes, like the Survival Instincts for Druid or the Serendipity for Priest. You need 20 Dark Iron Ordinances and nobody's gonna wanna farm them. You know what, handsome smart guy? You're a lot smarter and more handsome than I could have expected. You got any more tips for me by any chance? 
You know this was meant to be everything for today, but I will say, if you subscribe, you'll get information a heck of a lot faster than Muscle Guy over there. Dude, literally everything you had in this video, every single person that's ever played WoW ever already knew all of it. And even if we didn't know it, like, you, I, I already knew it. Me, I knew it. Well, I very much doubt that, but I've got one more thing you might not know about, which is the optimal raid comps for BFD. I've got a video that's going to tell you exactly what you want to run if you want to have maximum, su ma maximum success in the raid.